Hello you guys, welcome back to another slow cooker Sunday. So I am super excited about this recipe. We are doing chicken and potatoes in the crock pot and this recipe comes from Six Sisters Stuff. I am constantly looking on their blog. They have cookbooks that I go through and all of their recipes so far that I have made are really, really good. So I know this one is not going to be any different. So I'm just gonna start off by peeling and cutting up my potatoes and then I'm also going to cut up my chicken into bite-sized pieces and then we are going to kind of put this in the crock pot and I'm going to show you step by step how I do that here in just a minute. Okay so I'm just going to layer this. I'm going to do my potatoes on the bottom and I'm going to season my potatoes with some pepper some onion powder and some salt. My onion powder is almost gone. Put some salt on there. You can also do some garlic powder. And then I'm going to place my chicken right on top, kind of in an even layer if I can. And then if you're gonna double this recipe, then you can just do another layer of potatoes and then another layer of chicken. Just be sure to kind of season everything. So. And even layer the best I can. I'm going to do some more salt and some more pepper. I did grab my garlic powder, so I'm going to throw that in as well. Can never go wrong with garlic and onion powder. A little more onion powder. And then I'm going to top this with some cheese. The recipe also says to put some green onions and bacon in here. Unfortunately, I forgot to grab some bacon at the store, so I don't have any, but that would be really good in here. Put that right on, and then we're just going to pour over about a cup of heavy, heavy whipping cream, maybe three fourths of a cup, something like okay. that. So lid going on, and then we're gonna cook ours on high for about five to six hours. Okay, so I just took the lid off. This has been going for about five to six hours. Um, you can even go a little bit longer. I just tasted a potato to see if it was done, and for the most part it is. And I honestly thought this might be a little bit bland, but that heavy whipping cream adds really good flavor. Um, and definitely go a little bit heavy handed on your seasonings because I think it needs it. Potatoes especially really need the salt. But... I think this has good flavor, so I'm just going to stir this up a little bit. And then I'm going to top ours with some more cheese. You can also do green onions. Bacon would really take this over the top, so I wish I had some, but I don't. So I'm just going to do some more cheese, let that melt, and then we will plate this up. Okay, so I'm really mad at myself that I don't have any bacon, but this is really good. I know the bacon would take it up a notch, um, but overall it still has really good flavor. You probably can't even tell the chicken from the potatoes in this video, but it is there. Um, and I think next time I might even brown up my chicken in the skillet if I have time before I add it to my crock pot. I think it would just give it a little bit more flavor. Um, but overall, it's really good. I really like this one. So this recipe will be linked down below for you guys. So tonight for dinner, we are doing some stuffed shells in the crock pot. You do not have to pre-cook your noodles, so I like that, but there is still a little bit of prep work. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started prepping everything, basically our cheese mixture, stuff our shells, and then we'll get everything in the crock pot and get it cooking. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay, so for our cheese mixture, I'm doing some ricotta and then about a teaspoon of garlic. And then I'm doing some mozzarella cheese and Parmesan shredded cheese. I didn't really measure it out, but maybe a cup to a cup and a half of each. And then roughly a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. You can do more or less. You can kind of taste it and just see. Um, I couldn't really get the Italian seasoning to come out. So I think I probably did about a tablespoon. And then you are not going to cook your shells. I got the jumbo shells and I thought it would be hard to stuff but it wasn't so go ahead and stuff as many as you can probably around 12 to 15 of these shells and then we're going to layer them in the bottom of our crock pot I know it is not fun to do 
prep work for a crock pot recipe a lot of people really like the dump and go meals but this didn't take me as long as I thought it would so it really wasn't bad and then in the bottom of my crock pot I have one jar of pasta sauce and I just dumped it in and then I'm going to layer these shells in an even layer or do at least the best job that I could of putting them in an even layer and then I'm going to put the lid on and we're gonna cook this on low for about five to six hours Okay, so six hours on low. These look really good. However, it did burn on the sides. Next time I'm gonna use a liner. I wasn't sure this time if I should, um, but I definitely will. And I think I overstuffed my crock pot. It really needs to be in an even layer. So some of these on top are a little bit crisp. So next time I'm just gonna pour a little bit so of sauce on top as well. But the ones that are done are so good. It has such good flavor. I've already tasted it. I couldn't wait because it smells so good. And um, yeah, I didn't put ground beef in this, but next time I probably will too, just to bulk it up a little bit. So now I'm going to plate this up. I'll show you all what that looks like. And then we are gonna dig in and eat because I am so hungry. Okay, so I'll leave this recipe linked down below. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you got some recipe inspiration for this upcoming week. As always, if you are new around here, I would love for you to stick around, so be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye, guys.